Kitchen's War Memorial was established in the year 1921. It honors the memory of the duly noted 365 men from Hitchin that were tragically lost during the Great War. The weight of such loss is utterly significant, greatly impacting such a small town like Hitchin, and it mirrors the sorrowful experiences across the country. A notable inclusion in this role of honor is the name of one Frank Young. Posthumously awarded the Victoria Cross, Second Lieutenant Frank Edward Young served valiantly in the 1st Battalion, Hertfordshire Regiment. He was characterized by unconquerable bravery, unwavering determination, and an exceptional dedication to duty. Prior to his departure to the front line, Frank made a poignant assertion to his vicar, J.G.D. Williams, outside his local church, St. Saviour's. He said, We've been training to be soldiers, now we need to go and be a soldier. His commitment to embody the essence of a soldier was undeniable. On the 17th of September, weeks before the armistice was affirmed between Great Britain and Germany, thus marking an end to a four-year ordeal on November 11th, 1918, Frank issued his final correspondence through a field postcard. This was the day prior to an unforeseen German attack targeting their lines. In his last known moments on the 18th of September, 1918, Frank was observed engaging in intense hand-to-hand -hand combat against an overwhelming enemy force. For many of the young men, heeding the call to serve their nation, this marked their maiden voyage overseas, and in some instances, the first departure from their hometown of Hitchin. The exhilarating experience they anticipated was swiftly overshadowed by an environment permeated with mud, terror, and peril. Rather than the perils of barbed wire and gunfire, it is the haunting, ear-splitting cacophony of artillery bombardment that remains entrenched in their memories. Among the most heart-rending items are the personal belongings and keepsakes carried by these soldiers on the front lines, their only connection to their distant families. Take, for example, the Wallets housing family photos belonging to Jack Dorrell and Bill Taylor of the Hertfordshire Regiment. Jack's wallet bears a large hole, a casualty of shrapnel assault. Sadly, Jack was killed. Bill's wallet, on the other hand, was struck by a bullet or a fragment of shrapnel, resulting in a smaller puncture through each photo. Yet these photographs of his family quite literally saved Bill. Thus, he was able to survive this harrowing experience.